Hi everyone, UK Guns here. Um, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to strip and reassemble the bolt carrier assembly for the AR-15 rifle. This particular bolt carrier assembly is from my M4, um, but most AR-15 rifles will have uh, an identical or very similar looking bolt carrier assembly, be very subtle differences. Uh, however, if you're in the UK like I am, it's possible that your bolt carrier assembly won't have this part, which is the gas key. The gas key is essentially uh, part of the semi-automatic functioning of the rifle, and so on straight pull rifles in the UK, it's redundant. So some manufacturers don't bother to install it on the uh, bolt carrier assembly. Some still do, like this one, um, but others don't. So if it doesn't have that part, uh, don't panic. Unless your rifle's a semi-automatic one if you're somewhere else in the world, and then it definitely should have that part. Okay, so first off then what you need to do is remove the bolt carrier assembly from the rifle. If you're unsure how to do that, I'll leave a link in the description to my other video uh, where I demonstrate how to strip and reassemble the AR-15 rifle. So go ahead and watch that video and then come back to this one. So the first thing I'll do then is I'll introduce you to the parts of the bolt carrier assembly so that we know what we're working with. So obviously this is the bolt carrier assembly itself. And then in here... This is the firing pin retaining pin, which runs all the way through to the other side there. And as the name would suggest, that retains the firing pin, which we can see here, protruding out the back. Obviously on top here, as I've already explained, is the gas key. And then this piece here, this rectangular piece, is called the cam stud. And what that does is that moves the bolt and rotates the bolt uh, forward and back as it engages and disengages uh, into the chamber of the rifle as that uh, cam stud rides on a rail inside the receiver and it also retains the bolt inside the bolt carrier assembly as well and then we have the bolt itself which is on the front here now on the front of the bolt these pieces around this side or the edges are the locking splines what these do is these lock the face of the bolt into the chamber of the rifle for, for when it's firing. Now on the face of the bolt, we have this piece here, which is the extractor. This extracts the rounds or empty casings from the chamber. And then we have the ejector, which then ejects the rounds or empty cases from the ejection opening on the side of the rifle. And then this hole here is the firing pin recess, which if I push on the back of the firing pin, we can see it protruding out the front there. Okay, so the first thing we need to do then to strip this down is to remove the firing pin retaining pin. We can do that by using a punch or a small screwdriver and pushing it through from this side or if your firing pin retaining pin has a loop on the end of it like this one does, which most do, you can simply hook it inside like that and pull it out like so. Then just place it somewhere safe because obviously it's a small part and we don't want to lose that. And then obviously now the firing pin is no longer being retained inside the bolt carrier assembly. So we can simply pinch that with both our fingers and slide it out the back of the bolt carrier assembly like so. And the firing pin is just one single piece of metal. The next thing we can do then is remove the cam stud. Uh, now the cam stud in its current orientation is retained by the uh, gas key there. So we can't lift it straight out. So what we need to do is rotate it 90 degrees and then lift it straight up like this. Like so. Now the cam stud is just one piece of metal with this hole all the way through it. And that's the firing pin that goes through that hole. So that should be unobstructed. Now the bolt itself will just slide straight out the front of the bolt carrier assembly like this. And that's basically all you need to do. You can go a step further and you know remove the extractor and the gas key. I'm not going to do that in this video because for the most part you won't need to do that really ever. And even stripping the bolt itself down in the bolt carrier assembly, uh, you don't really need to do unless it's excessively dirty or it's been submerged in water or something along those lines and it, and it needs a clean and a light oiling. What you can do though with it all stripped is just check that everything is as it should be. You've got your extractor and your ejector here. Um, make sure that they're sitting flush. There's a ring on the back of the bolt here which should move freely. Now, an important point to note is that inside the bolt, you may not be able to see it on camera, but there's a little hole just in here, which is where the firing pin goes through, which I'll show you. 
you see the firing pin all the way through there and inside the bolt itself is a small spring that is what ensures the firing pin resets um, it's called the firing pin return spring and that sits inside there now i have known that spring to fall out from the bolt uh, when you're disassembling or reassembling and it is a very important feature and it needs to be inside the bolt it was quite easy to reinstall when it did fall out i simply just lined it back up with a hole and then pushed the firing pin through which slotted it back into where it needed to be and it's been retained in there ever since but um, it's just a point to note that that can happen and it's really important that that spring uh, is in there so once you've done all that then, uh, now you can reassemble the bulk carrier assembly, which is exactly the same but in reverse. Now a point to note here is that we make sure we get the bolt correctly uh, orientated in the bulk carrier assembly. And to do that, we need to make sure that as we look at the front of the bulk carrier assembly, that the uh, extractor is on the left hand side of the uh, bolt face so that it's at the nine o'clock position like this. That's what we're looking for. Then what we do is looking in through the top here into the cam stud recess next to the gas key is line up those holes so that the cam stud can slot in. And we're going to drop it in in the same orientation that we pulled it out from earlier, which is the longest edge of the cam stud uh, being uh, parallel to the bulk carrier assembly like this. And then rotate it 90 degrees so that it's sitting underneath the gas key again like that. Then what we can do is reinstall the firing pin by sliding that in through the back of the bulk carrier assembly. It's a bit fiddly to line it up, but just drop it in. It should protrude out the back slightly. That's normal. And then we reinstall the firing pin retaining pin, and that should slide through and then sit flush uh, without getting stuck or any hindrance. And then just make sure that the firing pin is retained and importantly, make sure that the firing pin is functioning correctly by holding the, the, uh, the face of the bolt so it doesn't move and then pressing on the back of the firing pin. And as you should see there, it uh, protrudes out from the face of the bolt. And then when I let go of it, it retracts back inside. It's important it does that. If it doesn't, if it gets stuck forward, then you could have um, a discharge of the rifle without it being commanded by you pulling the trigger which could obviously be very dangerous so that's really important that the firing pin returns uh, inside the bolt each time after it's released so once you've done that you can go ahead and reinstall it in the rifle so there you go how to strip and reassemble the ar-15 bolt car assembly thanks for watching